Okay, let's talk about the differences between a wired security camera system and wireless. We offer both, um, but there are definitely guidelines that have to be adhered to with wireless if you're going to um, get the performance and the equipment's going to meet your expectations. So, wired systems require a cable, whether it's network or coax, to be pulled from the camera to the DVR. It can be up to 1,500 feet on coax. Wireless systems transmit the video signal either through Wi-Fi from the camera to the DVR or through radio frequency from the camera to the DVR. The wireless cameras are not completely wireless. They require power. They require constant power. So the camera's got to be located close to a power outlet or you have to pull a cable from a power outlet to the camera location. Wireless transmission eats up a lot of power. So does night vision. Night vision eats up a lot of power. And because of that, the cameras re require constant hardwired power. You're not going to get away with battery operated cameras. I mean, they're going to work eight, 10 hours, and then you're done. Main benefit for wireless camera systems is convenience. But that shouldn't be your first and only decision on what system to buy because you're giving up a lot for that convenience. And what you're going to give up is, uh, first of all, you're going to give up frame rate. Wireless video is choppier. It doesn't look like the fluid video you're seeing here now. Um, wired systems do have 30 frames a second live viewing. Wireless, is gonna be, there's going to be that choppiness to it. There's going to be a lag time. From the time that something happens to the time you see it on the screen is going to be anywhere from 2 to 5 seconds as far as delay time goes. The clarity on wireless systems is going to drop. You take a 1080p wireless camera and you put it next to a 1080p wired camera, the wired camera is going to look substantially better, even though they're both set up and they're, they're, they're transmitting 1080p video. It's just the way it is. Reliability. And this is the biggest one of all. Wireless systems are not known for their reliability. There are so many things in the environment that can affect the video transmission that uh, a metal building, a, 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 another uh, wireless router too close, a, a mirror deflecting the wireless signal. There's a lot of environmental things that can affect the reliability of the video transmission. Because of that, you do not see wireless technologies dominating the market. Uh, they never have, and, and at this point, from what we can see with the technologies coming out, they never will. Um, they'll never perform as well as a hardwired system. Hardwired systems are inconvenient because you got it one time, think about this, one time you just have to get a cable from this camera to this DVR and then for the life of the camera or for the life of the system you're going to have the best reliability, the best clarity, the best frame rate, best overall performance. And so those are the main differences with wireless technologies uh, versus wired. And so this comes to the golden rule. And this is our golden rule. Always hardwire a camera system when you can, and then consider wireless when you can't. The rules of wireless are simple. It needs to be residential. Uh, you need to stay within the parameters that we're talking about. Maximum of four cameras, maximum transmission distance of 150 feet. Okay? You have to understand you may have to move or adjust a camera or the location of the DVR to get things working reliably. The wireless systems that we offer are the best on the market. We know they work. We've sold thousands of them. We've taken them out. We've tested them. I took this system home to my house and I tried to make it not work and I couldn't. Now this is our Wi-Fi Pro series here and then this actually builds its own wireless network between the camera and the DVR which is really cool because it doesn't jump onto your wireless network at home and, and slow it down. It just builds it on it, its own and then transmits the video to this unit and then this unit can plug into your, your wireless modem and then you have remote access everywhere. This system here is a little different. This uses uh, digital radio frequency to transmit the signal from the camera to this DVR monitor here.